This is an instruction on how to use the Salesforce date format for data loader, meaning how exactly to use the date format, how to set the date format correctly when we use the data loader. And as you will see during the video that the difficulty comes actually from two points. The first um, point is the, is the usage of Excel. And uh, th that's a place where things get uh, messed up a bit. And the second location where it gets complicated is the setting of the data loader. But we will have a look on how to, to set up and how to use those tools correctly. So first of all, let's have a look on my example. Um, I have here accounts and I've created a custom field date of conversion. That's the date when we converted this lead into an account. And um, just to show you how this works, I'm setting up here some fake dates um, for just a few of those. So 1st of October and last one is a date in September. Let's save it. And now let's have a look on how this looks when we export the, this date uh, field or this date format and how this is then displayed. So for that reason, I'm going to data loader and I'm clicking here the export button and I have to log in. And I'm going to select the correct um, object and let's save it here under account CSV. As always, when you export uh, uh, data and in order to do an, an update later, um, you need to select ID and just so we know what we're talking about, we'll export also the name and date of conversion. We hit finish and now all account data are exported. Now, let's open this up in Excel. For that reason, I hit here import and I have to choose the file. Here you can leave things as they are and here you select, uh, if you look here on the separator, you'll see that th those are commas. So we have to select comma and we hit finish. Great. So now um, you see that those dates are formatted already in Excel. And if we look on how they got exported, then they look a bit different. So let's open up a text editor. You will see that this is actually the format that data loader uses. And now you see that this is actually the correct format. First year, then months, and then day. If you would upload it directly like this, then um, data loader wouldn't understand what this actually means. Okay, now that we uh, have the data imported in Excel, Let's now um, set the values correctly. For example, uh, I'm just copying here a bit. Exactly. You can set uh, another date, 28, and so on. And yeah, let's also use another year. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to bring this into the correct form. And as you can see, 
this is the form that uh, Excel should produce and the data loader really understands. So let's bring this now into the correct form. We go here, we, we, we mark the cells that we would like to change and we go here to format and we go into cell and here we need to select the same format year, months, day that data loader understands. We hit OK and now the dates are formatted correctly. Next, let's export the data. So we hit here File, we go to Save As, we hit the, the file type CSV and we call it uh, Account Update, for example. We save it. And if I would open up now this file, the new file, we can see that the format is correct. Good, let's upload it now into Salesforce. We go back to the data loader. We hit here update. We choose the correct object, the new file. Next. And we see that there is an error message. Invalid file format. Especially on row number nine, there is a problem. The number of data columns exceed the number of columns in the header. And we can already see that that's not correct. The columns in the header is just one and the, the data uh, column uh, are two here in, in, in row number nine. So that's not correct. Something is wrong. And it's good that we have this open. Let's compare now what we actually import here with the settings of, of the data loader. So I'm closing this one here and I go to settings and yeah, I'll keep this one next to each other. And what you can see that we have a few problems here. First of all, allow comma as CSV delimiter. Now, if we look at what we try to import, we see that the limiter, the delimiter is actually a semicolon, not a comma. And if we go for the comma as currently marked, then um, this name would be split apart. And that's probably why um, we had an error because there are some commas and this really isn't, uh, isn't the new column, but it's actually the same file. So the same field. So what we need to do in this setup is we need to deselect the comma as the limiter. And on the other hand, we need to check this one that we are having another delimiter and the delimiter is the semicolon. So now on one hand, the semicolon is taken as the limiter and the comma is not used. And it should understand now that this is actually one value. We save it. And if we hit now next, then we can see that really 14 records are recognized. Next step is to change uh, or to set here the, the field mapping. First, you always click here auto match. So whatever is matched is found and the ID isn't found. So we will set it manually. We hit OK, next and finish. And we can see that we have 14 successes. And this was the screen from before. So now I'm refreshing this, uh, this list view. Yes, and you can see that really all date fields were populated correctly. So this uh, was an instruction on how to use the date format in Salesforce when 
using the data loader. Please, if you have any questions or things don't work in your case, in your scenario, please comment below this video. Let me know about it so I can help you. And if you got any value out of this video, please uh, like this video. And in order to receive more instructions on Salesforce, how to guides uh, and so on, please subscribe to this to this uh, YouTube channel of sfhappio.com. That's it for now. I wish you a lot of success with Salesforce.